first of all, can you give me your name and your year of birth? Janet Macklin, 1929. And how did you start hockey? Well, I played at school, Bedford High School. So how did you get into the East of Scotland team? Uh, well, I went to trials. What position? Left in up. Was that your position throughout your career? <laughs> I wrote it was, yes. No. A specialist, no problem with that. So when did you get into the full Scottish side? Well, I suppose uh, May, May 51, probably. Can you remember your first international game? I think my first international was probably at the Festival of Britain International Hockey Tournament. That was your was first? 1951. That was your first international. That must have been quite something because not only was it your first international, but it was a rather larger event than, than a normal international. Well, yes, I mean, I think one just took it in one stride, didn't one? Were you aware of all the, um, the build up to the Festival of Britain itself around? No, not particularly. So how did you get to the international? Were you all taken as a team or did you have to find your own way there? Well, I think we found our own way. Um, I've got it here on the, in the programme for the uh, event. I've got Scottish Reserve 1951. So have you got the other players that you played with in that programme? Oh, yes, I have. Do you remember any of them particularly? Uh, Eileen Heinemann, who played centre forward. Jean Torrance was captain at inside right. Gibson on the left wing. We had a good goalkeeper, White, N.H. White. I was White, Mackay, McGregor, Maxwell, Crow, Malcolm, Jeffrey, Smith, Torrance, Heinemann, Smallwood, and Gibson. And, and Weatherhead was the umpire. And you were the reserve? No, I played actually in, in that team. You played? Good. Yeah. Can, what can you remember of the match itself? Um, I think the noise of the crowd. When that must have been quite novel. Schoolgirls. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find that daunting? Uh, well, it hit you pretty hard when you came out of the tunnel, screaming a bit, a bit like what you hear when people you know, played in rugby matches at Twickenham and they come out of the tunnel, the noise is terrific. And how did that make you feel? <laughs> Terrified, I should think, I can't remember. <laughs> I mean, you just take these things in your stride, don't you? I mean, we didn't have any, any sort of training or anything like that beforehand. Can you remember the uniform you wore? Uh, tunics. And what colours were they? Were, Purple. Were the uniform? Purple? Yeah. Well, that surprises me. I'd have thought for some reason that Scotland would have played in blue. Well, it was purple. <laughs> what was the uh, pitch like at Twickenham? Dreadful. In what way? Well, it was grass and it was uneven. That must have made it... <laughs> it, it, it played rugby on the pitch, so it wasn't expected to be very good. Doesn't and I'm sure it, wasn't, it was cut shorter, I'm sure, than it would be if you were playing rugby on it. <laughs> 